Hi, welcome to Panda Key Learning. Digital learning is simplified with happy learning. I am Radhika. I am going to explain the simulation project based on MATLAB Simlink blocks. Now, let's learn the project about Zeta converter using a MATLAB Simlink. We also can do the same simulation in hardware. For that, check the description box below. And we also provide free webinars and various courses on various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Panda Key Learning channel and get updated notification daily. Now let's see the concept about this project. So first we are going to see the introduction to Zeta Converter and next we are going to see the simulation model of a Zeta Converter and going to learn the working of a Zeta Converter and Output Waveform Analysis So basically the Zeta Converter is a more beneficial than the other types of converter uh, Like it has both the properties of bug converter and also the boost converters So that means it can act as a step up and step down converter And also this uh, Zeta Converter it has a non-inverting polarity uh, type That means it gives a non-inverting output it can be designed to achieve the some low ripple output current. So here the output voltage vary by varying the duty cycle by using the some microcontroller which designed the zeta converter to operate whether in a bug mode or a boost mode. So this zeta converter is a one kind of the DC to DC converter which are widely used as an application in traction motors and power factor correction, battery charging etc. So this is a block diagram of a zeta converter. So this zeta converter provides a positive output voltage for the input voltage that varies above and below the output voltage. So here this zeta converter needs a two inductors and two capacitors and also the one diode and one switch. So sometimes this series capacitor is called as a flying capacitor. So the basic operation in a zeta converter in which the output voltage is greater than or the less than the input voltage. It is mainly used for obtaining the regulated output voltage. So here the value of inductor and capacitors determines output efficiency and also the ripple voltage. So for variation in the output voltage uh, value, this converter exchange energy between the inductors and the capacitors. So here one uh, MOSFET here we have used. So this MOSFET controls the transfers of energy between the inductors and capacitors. So this block diagram has a two modes of operation. So first mode one. So in this mode one, the switch will be closed. The switch will be closed means when the switch is turned on, the diode will be reverse biased. It is represented act as an open circuit for the diode and short circuit for the switch. At the time, the reverse voltage, the diode is equal to minus Vs plus V0. That means the input supply voltage and output voltage. In that period, the inductor L1 and L2 are in charge uh, state of charging condition. So the current through the both inductors will start increasing and voltage across the capacitor C1 will e equal to the output voltage V0. On the other side, the mode 2. So in this mode 2, the switch is in open condition. So at the time, what will happen when the switch is open, uh, for a open the diode will be forward biased. This is uh, shown uh, open, open switch for on the other hand in mode 2. So in this mode 2, the switch is in open condition. When the switch is opened, the diode will be forward biased. So this is uh, shows open for the switch and a short circuit for the diode. At the time, the inductor L1 and L2 will be in a discharging state. So the polarity of the inductor changes and also the diode will be in the in conducting state. In the zeta converter, we have an open loop and closed loop method. So let's see about open loop and closed loop. So the name itself a uh, open loop. So open loop in the sense the control of the converter switching elements. We have used uh, uh, MOSFETs or a transistor or a normal switch. So it is not based on the feedback form. It is not based on the feedback from the output. So instead it operates in a feed forward manner. So where the duty cycle of the switching signal is a set based on the desired output voltage and also the input voltage. Next one is the closed loop. So in this closed loop zeta converter, 
Here, the output voltage is monitored by using the some feedback control mechanism. So this is uh, a measured output voltage is then compared to the reference voltage in a control circuit. So based on the error between the measured output voltage and also the reference voltage, the control circuit adjusts the duty cycle of that zeta converter. So to regulate the output voltage and maintain it at a desired level. So by continuously monitoring these output voltages and adjusting the duty cycle accordingly, this uh, closed loop zeta converter can provide a more accurate and stable output voltage regulation also. So this is the difference between the uh, open loop and closed loop converter. This is our open loop zeta converter simulation model. This is our output waveform of this open loop zeta converter. Let's see the MATLAB software. So go to MATLAB software. So this is our open loop. So as a as per the block diagram, this is our open loop zeta converter. And here we have to use the two inductors and two capacitors and also the voltage measurement, current measurement. Now let's run the simulation. It will take few seconds to complete the run the simulation. Then what is our input? supply voltage so here i will give the input voltage about 12 volt and what is the output value 24.13 so it be, it means it steps up the input voltage let's see the scope this is our output so input voltage is the dc so 12 by using the zeta converter open loop method what we get the value 24.15 so this is our open loop method so let's see the closed loop method and this is our closed loop method so the same block diagram here we will add a sum feedback control mechanism this is our output voltage the output voltage over here and then give to the reference value so this is our reference value so we want an output voltage uh, about a 20 volt means so whatever the output we want enter it over here so this is our a reference voltage here so this reference voltage and uh, output voltage that will be compared with the actual output voltage and it will be given to the PID controller so this PID controller gate terminal of this switch so here we have to use a one relational operator so this relational operator using these two signals so compare these two signals and give the output so that will give into the gate terminal of the MOSFET so now run the simulation so what we get the value output value 17.5 so input voltage will be 12 volt and output will be 17.5 so some so let us same change the supply voltage so I will give the supply voltage 20. Now run the simulation. What will happen in uh, open loop? So basically the open loop means the output voltage also changes because of the input voltage changes. But here the, uh, this closed loop that is not uh, supposed to be happen. You should still be getting 20 only. So 20.41. So this is the main difference between the out, uh, open loop method and closed loop method. So still are we getting the 20.41 irrespective of changes in the supply voltage so that this method only possible in a closed loop only so we can definitely say this is a closed loop method so this is what the main difference between the open loop and closed loop method so let's see the scope also and this is our output waveform here this is our pulse and this is comparing signals between the absolute value and also the repeating sequence and this is our PD controller output and this is our overall output of this zeta converter by using the closed loop method overview about this MATLAB simulation project has been explained uh, to get more information about this project and MATLAB files contact our Pantech e-learning channel from the description box below so thank you so much for watching this video. We also provide free webinars and various courses on various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Pantech e-learning channel and get updated notification daily. If the concept explained is useful and informative, give like and share. Comment your feedback in the comment box. Thank you once again.